Netflix is a popular streaming application that allows people to watch any show or movie of their choosing at any time they please. The shows and movies range from horror to informational documentaries and everything in between. The application also has original shows and movies that only can be watched on it. And it also has shows and movies from Disney to HBO to ABC Family and anything you can think of. On My Block follows a group of diverse friends going into high school dealing with real life issues such as immigration, gang violence, social injustice, controversial topics talked about in the show. An actress in the show playing a Latina whose parents were deported back to Mexico when in reality is of a white ethnic background, a Trump supporter, and is racist towards other minorities. What's her name? Olivia. I don't think she should be like, you know, um, portrayed as a, a Mexican, even though she's not. I think that the producers of On My Block um, that removed her from the show for another season, I think that was a really wise choice because it showed like that the audience wasn't okay with it because I don't think it, it was okay to begin with. In today's society, I don't think you really see much gang violence or anything like that today. I don't see much of it. Dear White People follows a group of colored students at a white Ivy League school dealing with racism, social injustice, and political controversy. One specific student uses a radio show called Dear White People to voice her opinions and spread the word about issues colored people are facing. I think the idea is to talk about the biases and racism going on that's untalked about in society. Blackface is just basically a non-African American dressing up or mocking a black person. I think that blackface is still relevant in 2018 and it shouldn't be happening. I know that in certain parts of the show, Sam, the main character, since she's white and black, having a black mom and a white dad, Sometimes that hate for her white side comes out. There are two reasons why I follow a teenage girl named Hannah Baker following her and her classmates journey through high school dealing with rape, bullying, depression, suicide, and many other things. Some controversial topics talked about in the show are rape, suicide, self-harm, bullying, depression, and even at the end of season two, school shootings. And some Parts of the case, I feel like it was exaggerated because of um, entertainment purposes. But for the most part, I think that that's how it is and it portrayed it in kind of a realistic way. I think it's targeted towards teenagers, but the way things are portrayed throughout the show, I feel like doesn't really um, portray how teenagers are in the real world. In some way it is um, because it helps others that are, I guess, that are trying to help other people with depression um, kind of understand more of what it's like. And I think it's in a way it kind of gets the point across. I think they could have done a better job. Um, like I said before, I feel like things were just kind of exaggerated and a little bit overly dramatic. Orange is the New Black is a show following a group of women serving their time behind bars and facing the hardships of it together, while learning how to survive in the tough prison conditions. Controversial topics talked about in Orange is the New Black are females in prison, more specifically bad treatment and lack of human rights, LGBTQ plus couples, police brutality, drug abuse, and sexual abuse. Because like that's in the past. Like what they did was in the past. Like it's about right now. That's what it is. If they get released right now and they, they did something like in the past, it's like well, if they wanted to apply for a job, they're probably like that would be on their resume that they what they did. But like they do deserve a chance at like a second life. Some well, some prisons are really in bad state states, 
but then some person have bad personality then some person's got like really good staff and they have uh like they're able to fund and house a lot of inmates but some prisons are like really broken down and like overpopulated so that's why we should like fund a couple more like improved prisons maybe because when people get hired as that position and like in prisons we probably have a superiority complex about that person what they did and they're like supposed to be like so clean that they're working in this jail system like housing them like they're babysitting like grown-ups like 24 7. Netflix has become a daily routine and or a stress reliever for so many Americans and people around the world. With Netflix becoming a large part of people's life in the 21st century, we wanted to take some time to talk about some controversial topics and shows Netflix has put out into the world. Although Netflix likes to focus on controversial topics and groundbreaking ideas, Netflix has also been known to make other amazing shows and movies such as To All The Boys I've Ever Loved, Sierra Burgess Is A Loser, Queer Eye, Black Mirror, One Day At A Time, Fuller House, Narcos, Atypical, Roxanne Roxanne, The Holiday Calendar, Napoli Ever After, and The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. All opinions set aside, I think we can all agree that Netflix has brought joy, memories, and entertaining times to many people and ceases to amaze us with new content.